That's effing sweet. Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite with a walkthrough showing you how to integrate Weglot with Webflow. In this video, we're covering the most basic implementation of Weglot. We are going from step one, creating a Weglot account, all the way to a published Webflow site that is being translated with Weglot. If you've never worked with Weglot before, this is the video for you. We are going to set up a fully translated Webflow build in just a few minutes. Let's jump in and see how it works. The first thing we need to do is create a Weglot account. I'm on weglot.com. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to try for free, create an account. I'm going to log in to my account that I already have created. And when you create an account for the first time, you are going to be presented with this screen and you're going to create your first project. Let's jump in and call this Weglot for Webflow and website technology, certainly not WordPress we are going to select Webflow here. And let's go next. And great, let's get started. If you have your primary domain name ready, you're going to follow these steps with your DNS records. If you don't have your primary domain and you're still on a webflow.io link, you are still in testing, you're still building, you're gonna go down here to use JavaScript integration. When you're ready to go to your primary domain, you're going to go back and follow these same steps I'm about to go over. So again, webflow.io, use JavaScript. If you have your domain name ready, which we do for this walkthrough, you're going to do this. First, enter that domain name. I'm gonna go FinSuite rocks. Original language, let's do English. And translated languages will be Spanish, German, French, and Russian. Cool. And let's go next. Let's get into the DNS setup. We have four DNS records to add. We're going to add them. It's super simple. And before we do that, let's talk about why we're doing it. These CNAME records are going to add subdomains to our URL. Adding the subdomains is going to give us SEO benefits. We're now going to be searchable in the languages that our site is being translated to. So that's it. Four records and when somebody loads our site in French we now have fr dot domain name and doing this is going to get more people searching in that language on our site all right let's go in four records super simple first we're going to add the French then we're going to add German then Russian then Spanish all of these CNAME records are pointing to websites dot weglot dot com I'm going to go into my DNS dashboard. I'm on Namecheap.com. The process is the same for GoDaddy, Google Domains, any type of domain provider and DNS setup, we're copy and pasting the same thing. Maybe it's a different layout, it's a different dashboard, but it's the same steps. So you can see I have my three Webflow records ready to go, and I'm gonna add these four new C names. So I'm adding a new C name. The host is going to be that language code. So here it's French. The target is going to be websites.weglot.com. And I'm going to accept that. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the next three. So let's go C name. I'm going to go German. And let's go same target. C name. Let's do Russian, same target. And we have one more in Spanish. Great. So there we go. That's it. I just did four entries, four C names, and now the difficult DNS process is done. And as you can see, it's really not that difficult. It is actually very simple. And now we just have to wait a few minutes for Weglot to recognize that, con that connection. So if I go and check the DNS, you'll see that one turned on. If I keep checking the DNS, you'll see them go on and on and on. It's not an immediate process. Depending on your DNS provider, this could take 
30 seconds, it could take five minutes, it could take 10 minutes. I'm gonna wait until this is done, and when it's done, we're gonna jump into the JavaScript copy-paste into Webflow. And we are good to go. We have our four CNAME records being recognized by Weglot. We see the green check mark, all good to go. This whole process took about two and a half minutes. Remember, the time could vary based on your DNS. All right, let's go next. And now we're going to copy this JavaScript snippet to our Webflow site. So I'm going to go and paste this into our custom code section. Please make sure that you're copying the API key from your account. Do not grab it from the clone site. Do not grab it from this video by retyping it. Just copy and paste yours. It's specific to your account. We're gonna go over into the custom code part of site settings, and we're going to add it at the end of the head tag here. And I'm gonna go and paste that. There we go. That's it. I'm gonna save the changes. And before I go and publish them, let's take a quick look at the site pre weglot translation. We have a site in English, totally normal, looking good, no mention of translation at all. Now, when we go and publish this, we're going to see a weglot language switcher in the bottom right of the page. It's going to let us change the language automatically in seconds. And there we go. We have our site in English, still looks the same just as it did before we pasted that code in. And now let's see when I go and change to German, you're going to see the URL update with our subdomain, de.finsuite.rocks. And you can see that the text we have on the site is changing to German. Check it out, all automatic, didn't have to write anything or type anything or anything. Cool. Same thing for Spanish and same thing for all the other languages. We have our custom subdomain, it's searchable in Google, and now our entire website is in Spanish, just like that. And that is how easy it is to get your site fully translated in just a few minutes using Weglot. Now our site is translated. And before we go, let's look through the Weglot dashboard. Let's see all the settings and options and cool things that we can do with Weglot. First, I'm gonna refresh, make sure that all of our domains are ready. They are, they're working, they're looking good. They are translating. Now we're going to go to the dashboard. Here on the dashboard link, I am going to see a whole bunch of things I can do. Really cool, you can do translations manually. Maybe you wanted to say something unique or special that's not part of the automatic translation. You can go ahead and do that. You can also use their visual editor, very similar to a Webflow editor type of experience. You can visually edit the translations on your site. And project settings is really nice and juicy here. We have a lot of options for customizing the UI component. We have a lot of options for um, making dynamic elements, excluding certain parts of the site from being translated. Go ahead, look through this, click through it. There's a lot of cool and interesting things you can do to really customize how your site is translated. If you're looking for that extra touch of customization, we've built a custom UI kit for Weglot and Webflow. It uses Webflow interactions, it talks directly to Weglot to change the language for you, and it takes the more standard language switcher to the next level by allowing you to totally customize it in Webflow interactions. So check this out. This is a really cool, interesting, fun, branded way to change your language. And you can see that when I go and change to German, we're loading the German site as expected. German is showing in our language switcher and it's totally hooked up to Webflow interactions. If you're interested in this, we have another video that covers our entire UI kit. Everything from the simple copy and paste to looking into designer, talking about why we did certain things, and then walking through the custom code that makes it all work. Thanks everybody, we are pumped to see what you can do with Weglot and Webflow. Translating your website is so important and Weglot makes it so easy for us. 
Thank you, Weglot team. Thank you, FinSuite team, for collaborating to make this video walkthrough series possible. The promo page, the UI kit, these videos, it's all because we care about bringing this knowledge to you. If you have any questions, please reach out to the Weglot support team at support at Happy translating and enjoy.